Good morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, the clone feature in Mass Mailer, which is a very important and essential feature. Uh, so what are the things we can clone in uh, Mass Mailer? So you could uh, clone an outreach object. You can clone uh, a campaign. You can also clone a Mass Mailer list view. So when it comes to the outreach object, if you are familiar with Mass Mailer, um, it is basically a container object which holds all the um, Mass Mailer email blast information, right? Uh, you could uh, clone an outreach uh, just by clicking on the clone button on the outreach object itself. And if it's uh, <coughs> related to your Salesforce campaign, you can actually clone the campaign members too, meaning um, so when you click on the clone button, you're not only cloning the outreach, you're also cloning uh, the re related campaign as well. Uh, so you got to select uh, the respective uh, campaign member status uh, at the time of uh, cloning. Uh, so that's kind of an important. If it's not related to a campaign, then you just have to hit the clone button. And then behind the scenes, we will clone the entire outreach for you, uh, which you can um, edit uh, in order to send uh, any other email. And how do you uh, clone a campaign? So if you are sending emails using the Salesforce uh, campaign object, uh, you would find uh, a mass mailer clone button on the campaign object. Uh, so you just have to click on that and which will uh, again show uh, if at all you have any outreaches that you uh, used before uh, that are related to that campaign, you just have to select the respective outreach uh, and also select the campaign member status values so that you can actually clone the campaign. Uh, so that's how the uh, clone works in campaign. And uh, the third important uh, feature that we have uh, with respect to clone, uh, you can clone the mass mailer list view. <clears throat> Again, the list view um, holds the target uh, audience that you want to send emails to. Uh, you could use that uh, clone button uh, just to kind of clone the entire list view, uh, and then you can make edits after that. Uh, so that's very simple. So these are the three um, important objects for which uh, uh, customers would typically like to uh, clone, and we have uh, implemented that. So let's uh, take a look at um, the demo real quick. And if you're familiar with the uh, mass mailer and uh, the outreach, um, you can go to mass mailer outreach, uh, and then you can actually take a look at uh, the respective uh, outreaches. Um, and then you can open any of them. For example, this is, uh, see, it seems like uh, this came from a lead object. And as you can see, there is no Salesforce campaign related to this. And I um, want to make sure that uh, this is uh, complete, uh, delivered. So it seems like uh, it's a good candidate for us to clone. Uh, so all you're going to do is go here and then uh, click on this uh, clone button. As you can see that it already cloned and then it is bringing up this uh, outreach wizard. You can see the name, uh, it has added this copy of lead. And then uh, the target audience, you would see the same, uh, the record uh, that got uh, uh, cloned. And then you keep going and the respective uh, steps are going to be the same. That is the email template, none of that uh, would be the same. Uh, so there's no kind of a, a difference as that. So that's basically how you just clone um, an outreach uh, object. So as simple as that. And now, um, let's say if you wanted to uh, clone, um, All right. 
I'm going to go open this uh, demo test here. And as you can see that this is actually related to uh, another campaign uh, that's called uh, demo test. Uh, so if I click on the clone button, Uh, since it's related to a campaign, it's asking what uh, status values uh, from campaign you want to clone. Let's say I've selected that. I mean, you can always uh, remove anything that is uh, um, unnecessary. For example, you don't want that, right? Let's say uh, you don't want the deferred as well. So you can just remove anything that you do not want and then just select only the ones that you really want to clone the status. So it showed one result um, and that's uh, fine. I would just go hit this uh, clone button. And that basically uh, created a copy of that outreach, as you can see, and also it created a copy of that uh, campaign as well. Uh, so now if you click on this edit, uh, you can see that it opened up the outreach and then the target audience uh, it basically selected uh, uh, all of that by default. That's how the campaign was built. And you can see one record and rest of the steps that can be the same thing. So basically, uh, it has cloned the campaign as well. So if you go back to that outreach and if you open this uh, outreach and go to this campaign, this basically is just a, a clone of the previous campaign that we have and it should have the the respective uh, outreach related to it, and also it should have the respective uh, campaign members are also um, they are in the status new. Uh, so that's how you basically clone um, the campaign. Let's say you come from a Salesforce campaign, you go to marketing. campaign. Let's say um, <clears throat> you have a campaign that you want to go on. Let's take a look at what campaigns I have here. Okay, I'm just gonna go take uh, something. It doesn't seem like uh, it has any outreach, so but it has the campaign number status value. Okay, uh, so let's just uh, go ahead and try to send an email and then we can uh, uh, clone this particular campaign. So let's just uh, send me a mass mailer. We have four of them, campaign members. Uh, we can just do a, a simple email uh, demo flow. Okay. 
and then let this be uh, everything else the default font use. And finally, just uh, finish. It has created the outreach behind the scenes. Let's just make sure that the campaign is finished. Okay, so now the status is uh, completed. The four of them that got delivered. Uh, so if I go back to this particular campaign, now you would see that it has uh, some email status values, it's an outreach, and uh, also the campaign members, uh, then the deliver status, right? Now, if you want to clone this campaign, so you would go here and then uh, click on this mass mailer clone button. And then it's asking you uh, <clears throat> if you want to clone this particular outreach, and I'm going to say yes. And then it's also asking, uh, hey, what status uh, values of campaign members that you want to clone? And I would just say, hey, I want to clone uh, the status values, you know, whatever it may be, right? So I just selected everything. But if you remove, if you want to remove any of them, uh, that's okay. If you just want to say, um, uh, hey, I want to basically maybe just uh, select anything that is uh, delivered for example right and that's what is uh, kind of showing gonna uh, the results will be shown as um, it would match with the campaign member status delivered and i know that there are four of them that are in the delivered status uh, so now if you just go back to, uh, so basically uh, what we've done is uh, we are creating a, a brand new uh, campaign and the campaign member status would be uh, defaulted to new. And then you're just selecting which outreach you want to campaign because you may have more than one outreach related to the same campaign. Uh, and then you're selecting the campaign member status to filter. Uh, so I'm just saying delivered. Um, and there are four records with the deliver status, and then I'll just go click this uh, clone button, uh, which would basically clone this particular campaign. Um, so that's uh, as simple as that, uh, but it's a little bit advanced, as you can see. Um, it has certain um, um, uh, added features where you can actually select the respective uh, outreach as well as the campaign member status. Now you can see it uh, did clone the outreach and it also must have uh, cloned the campaign members in the status new. Uh, so now if you basically want to send in the email, uh, you could just go uh, say, send me a mass mailer <coughs> from this uh, new campaign. <coughs> and it's gonna ask you, hey, you want to uh, use uh, the old outreach or you want to actually use, uh, uh, or rather you want to create a brand new outreach. So uh, the rest of the steps are the same as you know. So that's how you basically clone a campaign. Now, uh, finally, looking at uh, mass mailer list view. So let's go back to mass mailer app. And then go to the list views. <clears throat> and let's say you have a list view uh, that you created. And again, um, I'm just going to go find something 
that has uh, some values. So I'm going to go to preview first, just to make sure. If not, we can go create a brand new one and then clone it. Okay, so it has two records. Um, so let's just go back. I'm going to go cancel this. Okay, so if you want to clone this, again, it's uh, quite simple. All you need to do is just open that list view record and then click on this uh, clone button. And that will basically uh, would clone this particular uh, list view. And then it just creates this uh, new mass mailer list view uh, just by adding this clone off and then that's pretty much it. And if you just want to uh, edit this, you can just go edit and it would just open that uh, edit view. As you can see, it, it retains pretty much all your filters and everything. You can also do a quick preview uh, just to make sure and it shows the results. And that's how you clone a mass mailer list view. So very simple and easy. Uh, so if you have any questions, once again, uh, feel free to reach us out. And here is my contact information. You can also contact us on our website. Uh, and this is a weekly webinar that's conducted every Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, you can register online uh, through our website. You would see uh, join webinar button and then just click on it and then register um, for the upcoming uh, webinar that we have on um, every Thursday. Once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar today. Um, and it's been a pleasure to work with you all. Take care. Bye-bye.